Okay, my name is Chef Mika, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about weighing ingredients by using two different types of scales. We're going to use a baker or a balance scale, or possibly a digital scale. Digital scale, we're moving into the digital age, okay? We know that we know how, need to know how to use this. Typically in any bakery, you need to be very precise, and you will need to know how to use a balance scale, which can be fairly confusing. So what I'm going to do is walk you through the balance scale. If you look directly on this balance scale, you're going to see it balances, okay? That's at zero. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ingredient, what well, we would put the ingredients off and a counterbalance. And before you even begin, you need to know that this needs to balance at zero. It's like a teeter-totter, okay? The first thing we're going to do is take off the scoop where we would put the ingredients to weigh and the counterbalance so that I can show you totally empty this scale, it will balance just like a teeter-totter with nothing on it, okay? Now if I wanted to weigh something on this side, we would have to include the weight of the scoop. That's where a counterbalance comes in. So we're going to place this counterbalance which equals the weight of the scoop. And again, we have a teeter-totter effect. It's balanced on both sides. That's very important to understand so that your ingredients will be weighed correctly. Now, for sake of purpose, I'm going to show you how to weigh 8 ounces of flour. On here, this will weigh up to 1 pound. So I'm going to go all the way to 8 ounces. I'm going to go to 8 ounces and put my measuring thing on there. Now your scale is out of balance. To balance it, we're going to have to put an ingredient which weighs 8 ounces. I'm going to use flour. You go all the way until I can see this just beginning to tip too far. No big deal. I'm going to take some out. See how we're all perfectly balanced. Now we know in this scoop we have eight ounces of flour. Say I want to weigh one pound of flour, I would move this all the way over to one pound. I'm going to increase my flour until I balance at one pound. Now obviously the scoop is large. I can weigh more than one pound at a time. So I can do this in increments of pounds. I'm going to add a one pound weight, and there it goes again. It's down. We are out of balance. I know I have one pound here, and one pound here makes two pounds. So I'm going to put another pound of flour in this scoop. This is generally what we would use when we're making bread, because we would weigh up to seven pounds at a time. That's what I know this scoop will hold. Okay, we are in balance. We have two pounds of flour in this scoop. I think you can understand that concept, and we will practice this. Now, there's another kind of scale. We have an electronic scale. I'm going to turn it on. It's going to zero in. You're going to make sure it zeroes in. We have no vessel to weigh on here. So I'm going to give it a vessel. I'm going to give it a bowl. There. We know the bowl weighs something. Actually, the bowl weighs 12 ounces. We're going to get rid of that by pushing tear. Again, I'm going to weigh 8 ounces by adding 8 ounces of flour. And it's very, very, very precise. This battery operated, and a little over 8, I'm 8.1, I'm going to remove a little, sprinkle, there, 8 ounces of flour. Perfect. That's how that works. Pretty good concept. Thank you. In the first example on our balance scale, we've weighed out 2 pounds of flour. I've removed the 8 ounces from this vessel and teared it in at zero. Just to show you how accurate both of these scales are, I'm going to add this flour to 
to make sure that we're two pounds. Bingo! Two pounds. Perfect.